Hello, you're welcome again to Next Connect Institute. This is the second uh, part for quality assurance. I'm beginning from quality assessment. Now, quality assessment, this is just the measure of the qualityness of care that is being provided in a particular setting. So this is also very important to take note. Now, let's go through the types of assessment that we need to conduct. Number one, we have self-assessment. This is done by oneself. Then secondly, we have a peer assessment. This is done by friends, colleagues that are almost at the same level as that care giver. Then we have quality survey. This may just use a questionnaire. Then we have exit interview. These are interviews that are of course so important. And an exit interview is an interview that will be given to a patient at the time they are leaving your institution. Then we also have um, an assessment to do with the equipment, that is equipment checklist. This is just to ensure that an inventory, a very detailed inventory is done. So this is so, so important. So these are types of assessment. Self-assessment, so peer assessment, quality survey, exit interview, and equipment checklist. Now let's go to service quality. Now service, it's something that I'm providing to another person. Now, service is generally defined as an experience that is felt by the consumer, who in this case is a patient or a client. Now, apart from this, it's also very important to note that service qualityness is only measured or judged by the client who has come to access that service. Service quality is about comparing performance with the customer expectations what I'm doing, the input, and what the experience will be experienced by that patient, okay? So service quality cannot be assessed without the patient taking part. Dimensions of service quality um, is actually discussed in five dimensions. Number one, tangibles. Now, in this regard, the tangible dimension of quality is related to the surroundings in which the service is provided, okay? These are dimensions, okay, or parameters. So tangibles, that's important. And the first tangible we are discussing is the area, the service area, okay? So that's critical. The lighting system of your facility, okay? How is someone treated when they walk through? Secondly, durability. So this is all about dependability. If today I came to access a service at this health institution, can I depend on that health institution for even days to come? Or for example, I would come through, today I access these services, tomorrow they are no longer there. The, Third dimension is responsiveness. Now, responsiveness refers to the time taken by a service provider to respond to a request. If I come through your service area, how long do you take to respond to me? So that is responsiveness. Assurance, that's another dimension. And assurance in this regard is related to the competence of the service employee the one who is providing, am I assured that what I'll get or the care that I'll get from this uh, um, employee will be of quality? Empathy, that's another dimension. And this refers to the caring attitude that an organization shows towards its clients, okay? Now, this calls for individual attention to the clients so as to make them feel very, very special, okay? Now, there is also an important aspect that we need to consider. Approaches that are very important in terms of ensuring quality or approaches to quality improvement. So in the next video, I will just focus on the 5S approach to managing the work environment. Thank you for watching this video. Ensure that you subscribe, spread the news that this channel is here and it's happening. Thank you for your time.